One is education. How do we best educate our patients? When is the best time to educate our patients? Are we throwing all of this information at them in the beginning of their diagnosis and then, you know, we're not doing anything with it? So several groups have looked at that kind of thing. Specifically, some of our um, gynecological oncology nurses are looking at um, education around sexuality um, with their patients. And, you know, that's, that's something that we all need to be doing with our patients, but majority of people don't because they're uncomfortable, the patient doesn't ask questions, the nurse doesn't. So they're looking at, is it better, you know, how do we educate our nurses so that they feel comfortable then educating the patients? So that's a big one, and that's come up a couple times. Other things would be things around um, central line issues are big. What's the best way to, to dress a central line? Do you even have to put a dressing on a central line? How many times can you um, unhook a central line you know, to add an, an IV to it? Or should you do a different process for that? What's the best kind of cap to use on a central line to reduce infection? So they're, they're doing that kind of thing. And then there's product kind of issues too. You know, What's the best product to use for something? If they hear something at a conference or they see something somewhere else and it's different than what we're doing they there have been a few of those that are product line things too there's a couple doing things around the nurses themselves they did an aromatherapy thing with at the nurses station to reduce stress of the nurses thinking that they want to then take that into the patients also